Hey guys, this is Sage Valentine, and this is my review of The Walking Dead, Season 1, Episode 6, entitled TS-19. I'm going to give you five things that always remain with me every time I watch this series, every time I re-watch this series, because of this particular episode. Number one, Shane is a liar. A big liar. Shane knew that Rick was alive. Shane could have saved Rick. Shane left Rick in there to die a natural death, I guess, so he could get close, close to Lori. Number two. Number two, Edwin Jenner let our group in there and knew exactly what was going to happen. And just sat there watching them like a bunch of lab rats. That stuck with me, that whole episode. I'm like, dude, you knew this and you couldn't tell them? Man. Number three. <laughs> Andrea's the only person who picks up on what's going on with Jenner. Even Dale didn't even pick it up. Dale was just overjoyed. Rick was drunk. Shane was drunk. Carl had a little sip. Everybody had a little sippy sip of um, alcohol, whiskey, wine, whatever. But Andrea, even through her drunken fog, even through her sadness, she noticed that Jenner was off and she told Dale and thank God for Dale. Number three. This particular disease... I'm calling it a disease, a virus, whatever you want to call it, but it's something else. This thing invades the human body like meningitis, shuts everything down, kills everything that is you until you become a hollow shell walking around, hungering, desiring, will do anything to get a bite, a pound of flesh here. And it is a rude awakening to everybody in the group. But I'm still side-eyeing side Edwin Jenner because I still they still never answered the question, what the heck was wildfire? And was wildfire the first part or the, the first known case of this whole virus? And it was con ended up being contained in the CDC and somehow it got out? Did they know this from the beginning and that they did not feel the need to tell people? This stuck with me for the longest time. And it still stuck with me. But for the most part, season two really made me reflect upon this episode. And I went back and I said, yeah, that did happen. Mm -hmm. I said, that definitely happened. Okay. Number four. TS-19 was Jenner's wife. Okay, this woman was brilliant. This woman could have cured cancer, but as I said, could have cured anything. But as I said, once this virus takes you, it takes you. You're done. You just wake up and you just want blood. You just want to kill and eat flesh. That's all it is. And the final thing that I noticed about this episode, because I'm not even going to get into that rape scene with Lori and Shane, but that is one of the reasons I don't like Shane. Shane took it a little bit too far, and Shane should have known as soon as Lori saw Rick, she was going to go back to her husband. That's her husband. But again, that makes me completely question that frenemy friendship between Rick and Shane because I don't know about most people, but if that's supposed to be your close friend, you're not going to flip on them that quickly. That's me being logical. The final thing I noticed in the end, and a lot of people were upset about this ending because Jackie stayed behind and it felt like the group kind of left her behind. I've watched this episode many times and I can tell you, everybody was in shock, but they looked in her eyes and they realized she resigned herself to the fact like, listen, I don't want to suffer what's going on. I just want to stay here and die. And people say, well, you know, with Andrea, Dale was worried about Andrea. Because Dale knew, like, Jackie made up her mind. Jackie was like, you guys go on. I'm going to stay here. I'm just going to go the easy way. Just let me just die in peace. Just like Jim did. 
Jim just died alone, died in peace. Well, he, he suffered, but I think you get where I'm going with that. Dale knew that Andrea was making a decision because of her grief for her sister. And he decided to put his head on the chopping block so that she would pull back and she would leave. And eventually she did. And eventually she, she basically airs her grievances about this. She tells Dale the next season, we're going to get all into that, but how she feels about that. But Dale is the reason why Andrea is alive. But I wonder, one thing, when every, the one thing that really stuck with me, which is actually the true number five in my little countdown here, when Edwin Jenner locked everybody in that room, even though Daryl, again, whose bark is worse than his bite, wanted to kill him, when Jenner locked them in that room, he said, I want to save you from an agonizing death. And the one thing that got me about that scene was when Carol said, my daughter doesn't deserve to die like this. And Jenna tells him, Jenna says, well, wouldn't you want your daughter to die peacefully? To die peacefully in her sleep? This one quote right here. For those of you who've watched this series, you know exactly where I'm going. For those of you who don't, keep that quote in mind. Because it definitely reflects upon season two. That's all I'm going to say. But I just wanted to thank you all for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching my reviews and loving my brand of crazy. I definitely love you all. I'm still on that high. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to be on this high for a while. But anyway, definitely make sure to stay tuned for my review of Big Brother. I told you guys I was going to do it. I'm also going to have a POV as well. So, got to have a POV like I did for Survivor. So, anyway... Definitely check my links if you ever want to chat. Follow me and see what I'm watching. Kind of see an insight to what I'm doing. Check my Twitter at Sage Valentine and follow me on Google+. I am under Sage Valentine as well. If you have anything else to add, if I left anything out, definitely, guys, comment. Rate this video and definitely subscribe because there are surprises coming, guys. I'm not going to let you know when they come. They're just going to pop up. Just saying. But I love you all. You all take care. This is Sage Valentine. Signing off. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>